will give you some um, essential information on the properties, applications, and the future development of a uh, uh, fascinating building uh, material, uh, as uh, said uh, Luciano, uh, that is uh, a formed uh, concrete. Formed concrete belongs to the wider category of uh, lightweight concretes, uh, that is, uh, those uh, particular cementitious conglomerates characterized by a uh, density ranging from uh, 150 and uh, 2,000 uh, kilograms for a cubic meter. David, sorry, In uh, we, we, yes? uh, we are seeing your screen, not your presentation. Can you see the screen of my presentation? Oh, only the screen. Okay. Okay, now? Perfect. Okay. So, the uh, most used uh, procedure is to uh, substitute ordinary aggregates with uh, lightweight aggregates. Uh, the latter can be natural, like pomis, characterized by density lower than uh, 1,000 kg per cubic meter, or artificial, uh, such as expanded clay, characterized by density um, even in the order of 500 kg per cubic meter, or uh, uh, polystyrene beads with uh, the uh, strategy of uh, replacing uh, ordinary aggregates with uh, lightweight aggregates, it is possible to design lightweight concrete with a density between uh, uh, 400 and 2,000 kg for uh, cubic meter. Another strategy for reducing the concrete density is represented by uh, so-called no-fines concrete, uh, which is a concrete uh, uh, from which fine aggregate fractions has been omitted. Indeed, in this, uh, in this case, uh, uh, the minimum uh, diameter of aggregates used is equal to uh, 5 millimeter. The density of uh, no-fine concrete is comprised between 1,600 and 1,900 kg for uh, cubic meter. This solution is often utilized to realize draining pavements. Lastly, in the case uh, the density reduction is obtained through the addition of hair bubbles in the cementitious matrix, we have cellular concretes, which can uh, further divide the into autoclaved aerated concrete and uh, aerated and formed concrete. In the case of uh, autoclaved aerated concrete, the air bubbles are incorporated through chemical reactions caused during the early stage of the curing by the expanding component present, present in, the, in the mixture. The ingredients forming this material are silica sand, cement, hydrated lime, water and uh, aluminum powder, the latter being the expansive uh, components. After the mixing phase, fresh cementitious paste is poured into formwork, taking care to fill it for about three quarters of the volume in order to guarantee an uh, adequate free volume for the expansion of the mixture during the early stage of the curing. After about five hours, materials have uh, reached the consistency that allows to demold it and to cut concrete loaf into various elements of the desired sites. These elements are then placed into autoclaves, as can be seen in the second photo at the top right of the array. For the autoclavid curing phase, at a pressure between 8 and 10 atmosphere and a temperature of about 180 uh, Celsius degrees. After this stage, elements are ready to enter the market. Two well-known uh, manufacturers of this material are Whitehong and uh, Gasbeton. In the case of um, aerated uh, concrete, the air bubbles in the cementitious matrix are obtained through the use of foaming agents. If forming agents are expanded with compressed hair before any adding it to the mixture and in order to obtain a preformed form, it is more correct actually to call this material formed concrete. As illustrated on the slide, elements forming formed concrete are simple, cheap, and easily available. That is um, cement, water, stable form, fine sand, and if necessary, additives. Preformed form mixed with the cement paste, give rise to the development of a system of air voids in the material uh, microstructure. Peculiar characteristics of formed concrete elements are those common to all cellular systems. Thermal insulation, especially when low density are employed, 
sound absorption, good resistance against fire, um, flotation, obviously for density lower than 1,000 kg per cubic meter, but above all, uh, lightness. Therefore, foam is the ingredient that characterizes this cementitious material, and uh, it is created by trapping pockets of a gas, in most cases here, in a liquid, in order to obtain liquid forms, or uh, in a solid, in order to obtain solid forms. In liquid forms, it's uh, possible to distinguish the lamelle, that is the thin films uh, delimited by the external surface of two adjacent bubbles, and the protoborders, which are the tubes of liquid at the junction of these films. Um, however, uh, foam uh, consisting of a pure liquid, uh, for example, pure wa water, uh, it's uh, relatively short-lived. Indeed, the curvature of the plateau border causes them to have a much lower pressure than the lamelle. So liquid drains rapidly from the lamelle into the plateau borders. Lifetime of a foam may be extended by the use of foaming agents. This is the reason why liquid foams are composed by a solution of water and a surfactant expanded with air. Surfactant molecules, which are amphiphilic, prefer to be present at the interface air fluid and they arrange themselves so that the tail groups, which are hydrophobic, are in contact with air, while keeping the head groups, which are hydrophilic, within the liquid. Therefore, they play the fundamental role of uh, increasing the um, lifetime of, um, of a form. So the most important properties uh, of, of a foam to be used for the preparation of foamed concrete are the density and the lifetime associated with drainage, which represents the most destabilizing cause for a foam. These uh, parameters are significantly influenced by nature and concentration of foaming agents, and also by air pressure used to produce the foam. In general, both an increase in forming agents concentration and an increase in air pressure used to generate the foam lead to a decrease in both density and drainage of the foam produced. As regards the nature of forming agents in general, drainage of forms uh, produced with uh, synthetic forming agents is uh, significantly higher than that of forms generated by means of protein forming agents. The justification for this very different behavior lies in the greater stabilizing effect due to the presence of proteins. These uh, macromolecules confer viscoelasticity properties to the thin film between air bubbles, thus contributing to its uh, stiffening. Um, in particular, the more complex uh, the structure configuration of protein um, molecules, the greater reduction of foam drainage, significantly increasing lifetime of the system. All this uh, translates into a reduction in the speed of drainage phenomena and uh, consequently in an increase in uh, the lifetime of uh, the foam. Clearly, the most suitable forms for preparation of foam and concrete are those characterized by a greater lifetime, therefore the protein ones. Regarding the density, it is possible to notice a lower density of forms generated using, the, using synthetic uh, forming agents. Uh, in fact, in general, the more complex the structure configuration, the lower the bubbling ability of a forming agent. Usually, in the field of foam concrete, foam density ranges from 50 to 90 kg per cubic meter. As I said before, foam is the peculiar ingredient of foam and concrete, and uh, it's added to the cementitious paste after a first mixing of the other ingredients. An increase in foam's volume in the mixed proportion will lead to a decrease in cementitious materials density, and correspondingly to an increase in its porosity, since air bubbles will occupy a greater part of the volume. Obviously, density and porosity play a crucial role in defining properties of formed concrete. The higher the porosity, or 
that is the same, the lower the density, the better the properties of foam and the concrete in terms of lightness, thermal insulation, sound absorption, and fire resistance, which are, in many respects, characteristics of absolute importance in the building sector. But, on the other hand, the worse the mechanical strength. At this point, it is important to highlight what are parameters that influence the properties of foamed concrete. Compared to ordinary concrete, mixed design of foamed concrete is much more complicated because in addition to conventional parameters such as water to cement ratio, granulometric assortment of aggregates, amount of cement, mineral addition, its properties are influenced by other factors nature and amount of foaming agents, air to cement ratio, mixing process, namely time of, type of mixing, mixing intensity and uh, duration of mixing. Obviously, all these parameters are strongly correlated to each other and this further complicates the problem. In general, in the case of foamed concrete characterized by a target density equal to or oh, lower than 600 kg per cubic meter, fine sand is not present in the mixed design because it would adversely affect the poor mechanical strength. However, addition of fly ash and silica fume is a common way to reduce the amount of cement per cubic meter, even in the case of ultra lightweight foamed concrete. On the other hand, as the designed target density of the material increases, the amount of fine sand in the mixture will increase accordingly. In these cases, the partial replacement of fine sand with fly ash or silica fume will lead to an improvement in uh, mechanical uh, strength. First of all, contrary to ordinary concrete, where the compressive strength increases with the decrease of water to cement ratio, in foamed concrete, especially in a medium to low density range, the same thing may not happen. In other words, compressive strength could increase with an increase in water to cement ratio. In fact, unlike the ordinary concrete in which the entrapped hair content is only a few percent by volume, the foamed concrete mixes contain much higher volumes of entrapped hair. Based on this, in foamed concrete, volume of hair is of a similar magnitude to that of the other ingredients. The compressive strength of a cementitious material can be predicted by Ferret's formula reported on the slide, where R represents compressive strength, K and N are empirical constants, W represents volume of water, C uh, volume of cement, and A uh, volume of hair. Therefore, Strength of concrete is seen to be a function of two parameters, water to cement ratio and hair to cement ratio. Obviously, water to cement ratio is the predominant factor on strength when uh, hair to cement ratio is uh, negligible, as in the case of uh, ordinary concrete. However, this predominance is gradually reduced with an increase in the amount of foam in the mixed proportion, that is, with a decrease in density of foamed concrete. Actually, there will be a density value at which the predominance changes over from water to cement ratio to hair to cement ratio, as you can see in the figure. Furthermore, it is possible to deduce the, the net decay of compressive strength value with uh, an increase in hair to cement ratio, or in other words, with a decrease in density of the material. Therefore, through simple steps, it can be easily obtained that actually it is more correct to say that compressive strength increases with a decrease in water plus air to cement ratio and not in a much more banal way with a decrease in water to cement ratio. For uh, completeness of exposure, it is necessary to add that in the relevant literature, there is a development of the first formula which takes into account changes in uh, volumetric composition due to the continuous hydration through an appropriate factor and through the degree of hydration uh, half. As already said, the role of uh, forming agents is uh, to create small air bubbles by reducing surface tension of a solution and increasing the lifetime of a form and consequently the stability of the hair bubbles. 
synthetic or uh, protein forming agents are commonly used and their effect is evident not only in the properties of foam produced as seen previously but also in properties of fresh and hardened formed concrete. In the relevant literature, it has been observed that uh, different foam content are necessary for forming agents having different nature due to the different stability behavior during the mixing phase with the cement paste. For this reason, the amount of foam needed to obtain a specific target density can change significantly depending on the type of forming agent used. Actually, water to cement ratio and uh, consequently consistency of uh, fresh paste also affects the amount of foam needed to obtain a target density. In fact, for a same foaming agent, an increase in water to cement ratio will lead to a decrease in foam content for a given target density because of the higher fluidity of the cementitious paste that allows the incorporation of the foam immediately without an initial collapse of the foam itself, which instead occurs for more consistent cementitious paste. At the same way, the introduction of a viscosity enhancing agent in the mixture will lead to an increase in foam content to achieve a target density. This is due to a higher viscosity of the fresh paste that complicates and trapping of air bubble within the cement matrix. On the other hand, a higher viscosity of the paste reduces the hair content that can be entrapped in the system. Uh, on the other hand, it hinders the emission of air bubbles that have already been formed in the matrix, improving their stability. Furthermore, also the fineness of the cement used affect the amount of foam, which increases with uh, the increase in the fineness of cement due to the greater surface area of the cement particle. To qualitatively understand what happens, it is important to consider that uh, air bubbles already embedded in the cementitious paste at the fresh state are subjected to a system of forces whose equilibrium governs the stability of the bubbles themselves. The confinement force are related to the rheological properties of the cement pastes and are higher for higher consistency. In the figure on the slide is reported a schematic illustration of forces acting on a single bubble when incorporated into the fresh formed concrete. The equilibrium state of the bubble is obtained when are balanced the bubble confinement force, which depends on the consistency of the paste, and hence on, water to cement on um, the water to cement ratio, on the presence of uh, viscosity enhancing agent, and so on. Then we have the internal uh, bubble pressure uh, related to the air pressure, air pressure used to produce the foam, the surface tension of the bubbles and the drainage force, which depend on the type of surfactant used, and the bubble buoyancy force, which depend on the bubble diameter. Natural foaming agents also strongly influences the hardened properties of formed concrete. In the relevant literature, it's shown that uh, some synthetic foaming agents leads to a flocculation of the cement particles during the mixing phase, especially for a very low water to cement ratio, contrary to what happens in the case of uh, protein forming agents. This flocculation explains the significantly high differences in terms of compressive strength of forming the concrete prepared with an identical water to cement ratio equal to 0 0.3 and same density equal to 600 kilogram for cubic meter, but different forming agents, namely protein reported in green on the slide and synthetic in light blue and cured in three different ways, namely in hair, wrapping in cellophane and in water. Flocculation does not occur in the case of protein forming agents, as it is clear from the enormous differences in terms of uh, compressive strength. All this translates also in different microstructure of the two different formed concrete, non-interconnected pore structure for the protein one and interconnected for the synthetic one. Evidently, non-interconnected pore structure is also desirable in terms of uh, durability. 
to overcome this drawback of synthetic foaming agents, it is necessary to increase the fluid phase in the mixture. In fact, with a water to cement ratio equal to 0 0.5 and the same density of 600 kg per cubic meter, the differences in terms of compressive strength are drastically reduced, although the best results are always associated with the protein forming agents. Histograms at the bottom of the slide show that uh, forming agents of different nature lead to a completely different sensitivity of the mixture to the water to cement ratio. In fact, it is clear that for synthetic forming agents, an optical water to uh, cement ratio is uh, 0 0.5, while for uh, uh, protein one, the optimal water to cement ratio is uh, 0 0.3. However, in any case, the protein forming agents leads to better compressive strength, as was uh, uh, forcible in light of the studies of form uh, previously shown. Evidently, the utopia in the construction field is to obtain a material characterized by all the physical properties that uh, characterize lightweight formed concrete, associated, however, also with good mechanical strength. All this has led many researchers to concentrate their efforts to determine ways to improve mechanical properties of lightweight and ultra lightweight formed concrete without worsening the lightness. Therefore, in case of um, equal forming agents, what strategy can be used to improve the compressive strength of lightweight and ultra lightweight formed concrete? We have two different types of strategies change in the mixing pro process or change in the mix design. In particular, addition of silica fume or increase the consistency of fresh cementitious paste. As already said, a key parameter affecting uh, mechanical strength of formed concrete is the mixing phase. In particular, the kind of mixer and above all, the mixing intensity, namely rotational speed of the mixer. It has been demonstrated that an increase in mixing speed from 500 to 2000 revolution per minute may imply a decrease of the mean diameter of the bubble uh, slightly higher than 75%. The bubble dimensions strongly affect all the properties of formed concrete. Indeed, a reduction of bubble dimensions and simultaneously a more homogeneous distribution of the air voids within the cement matrix is associated with higher mechanical strength. Additionally, higher mixing speeds have a deflocculation effect on cement grains dispersed in water medium, produced in a mechanical manner. As you can see from the comparative histograms, the effect of increasing the mixing intensity on the compressive strength is significant. Indeed, for a density of 400 kg per cubic meter, passing from 1,200 to 3,000 uh, revolution per minute in mixing intensity leads to an average increase of 96%, 104%, and 36% for air, cellophane, and water curing condition, respectively. For the case of 800 kg for cubic meter, the obtained increase of compressive strength is uh, 18, uh, 32, and 27% for the three curing conditions, respectively. Therefore, an increase in the mixing rotational speed represents a simple strategy to improve the compressive strength of uh, lightweight and ultra lightweight form the concrete without uh, further mineral or chemical uh, additions. A more common strategy to increase compressive strength is to introduce silica fume in the mixed proportion. This uh, mineral addition gives rise to an improvement in compressive strength due to its smaller size than the cement particle and its postsolanic activity. The comparative histogram shows a significant increase in the compressive strength of ultra lightweight format concrete uh, with a density of 400 kg per cubic meter in all the curing condition reported. In particular, there is an increase of about 157, 195, and 225 percent for hair, cellophane, and water curing condition, respectively. An unusual way to improve the compressive strength of uh, formed concrete 
is to increase the consistency of fresh cement paste, providing for the mixed design the presence of an appropriate viscosity enhancing agent. The photos on the slide show the significant fresh state differences between the two ultra lightweight cementitious paste. The more consistent paste is characterized by air bubbles of smaller dimensions and more uniformly distributed within the cementitious matrix. The microstructural configuration implies an increase of mechanical strength and also an improvement on, of thermal insulation properties, as I will show you um, shortly. If you remember the equilibrium state of a bubble into the cementitious matrix, this improved microstructural configuration is ascribed to the higher confinement pressure due to the greater consistency of the fresh cementitious paste to which the bubble surface are subjected, which improves the stability of air bubbles and prevent them from being exposed. As you can see from the comparative histograms, a higher consistency generally corresponds to a higher compressive strength. A justification for this result may be given in terms of air void distribution and dimensions. Indeed, as already said, the bubble dimensions significantly affects all properties of formed concrete and the reduction of bubble dimensions due to the higher confinement pressure to which the bubbles are subjected is associated with higher mechanical strength. In addition to this, the increased consistency of lightweight cementitious paste allows to apply this special concrete through cutting edge technology such as 3D printing. In this slide, I show you some picture related to printability tests on formed concrete characterized by a density lower than 800 kg for cubic meter. It's probably the cementitious material for 3D printing application with the best uh, thermal characteristics to date. In addition, the stabilized air bubbles act as a lubricant promoting the pumpability of the material, which uh, uh, once uh, released from the nozzle, it is able to maintain its dimensional stability and withstand the uh, pressure due to overlying layers, showing excellent uh, buildability properties. Compared to other concrete for uh, 3D printing applications, the substantial ad advantage of this uh, 3D printable special concrete consists in the possibility to obtain printed elements with density ranging from 150 and 2000 kg for cubic meter. This is a unique peculiarity in the field of 3D concrete printing and allows to realize in an automated and robust way not only structural elements but also and mainly non-structural elements such as partition or building envelopes with very high thermal insulation properties providing new development lines for digital fabrication with uh, concrete an interesting application could be the realization of multi-layer engineered co-extruder panels characterized by a common material matrix, but variable density with both structural and thermal insulation properties. Furthermore, due to the smaller size of the air bubbles of printable formed concrete compared to those characterized in traditional formed concrete, the thermal conductivity values associated with printable formed concrete are lower than those associated not only with classical formed concrete of the same density, but also with the more expensive and the more energy consumer aerated autoclaved concrete at the same density. The substantial differences between dimensions and distribution of hair voids in 3D printable formed concrete and in autoclaved aerated concrete at a density of about 550 kilogram for cubic meter are well highlighted in the microscopic images shown on the slide. Another interesting research theme concerns the development of strategies that make it possible to achieve good flexural strength without requiring an increase in density. This subject is very important in the low density range because, as you can see from the comparative histograms, uh, without reinforcement, the flexural strength of lightweight form and concrete is extremely low. In this regard, in the relevant literature, two common strategies are proposed. 
inclusion of fibers embedded in the semi-tissue matrix, strategy usable in the field of digital fabrication, and uh, or use of reinforcement grids of glass fibers. The comparative histograms show a significant increase in the flexural capacity of all the samples of lightweight format concrete, both in the case of the use of reinforcement grids and in presence of fiber embedded in a content of 5% by volume. Looking, looking at uh, strength values, it is possible to notice that uh, even in the case of the best results, lightweight and ultra lightweight formed concrete cannot be considered a concrete for structural applications. For these purposes, formed concrete characterized by a target density higher than 1,400 kg for cubic meter must be taken into consideration, as you can see from the inspection of the figures on the slide. From the same figure, it is possible to notice that, as anticipated before, the replacement of fine sand with fly ash greatly improves the uh, strength development at all test stages, and at 56 days, strength are up to 2.5 times higher than those produced with fine sand. In the relevant literature, there are other examples of formed concrete mixture with uh, target density higher than 1,000 for, for um, 100 kg for cubic meter and the compressive strength greater than 25 megapascal. However, it must be taken into account that formed concretes are characterized by modulus of elasticity values significantly lower than those that distinguish normal weight concrete with equivalent compressive strength as can be seen in the second figure. Moreover, formed concretes produced with fly ash, despite the greater compressive strength, exhibit lower modulus of elasticity values. Obviously, these could have some implications for the use of uh, formed concrete in structural applications, as deflection could be expected to much higher. To overcome this limit, it may be useful to employ structural elements characterized by suitably studied cross-section. Hence, particular attention must be paid to serviceability limit state verification of the structure. Here are different uh, possible fields of application of formed concrete based on uh, density. As you can see, it is possible to exploit this material for both non-structural and uh, structural uh, uh, purposes. So in conclusion, the utopia in the construction field is to realize a material characterized by lightness, very good mechanical properties, and excellent uh, performances in terms of fire resistance and thermal insulation. Having the chance of varying from the concrete's density from 150 to 2,000 kg for cubic meter, and thanks to the latest developments that allow heat to be processed via digital fabrication, it represents a cementitious material that can manage to make building elements characterized by antithetical properties, such as mechanical strength and functional feature. Here, uh, some uh, references to deepen this uh, field of uh, uh, research. So uh, that's all. I hope I've respected my speaking uh, uh, time. Um, thank you for uh, the attention.